hi everyone so god is saying that now you'll be moving to the inside you'll be moving to the inside you've been waiting so long for this moment some of you yes you've attempted you've used your own effort you've been praying but things did not work out you did not get your breakthrough but god is saying that now it is going to happen but it's going to happen as a result of obedience it's going to be hope happening on the 13th all these elements they really matter when you are moving when god wants you to be moving on the inside that is why when you read in the book of joshua chapter 6 about the wall of jericho the collapsing of the wall of jericho god had given joshua specific instructions that they had to be following he told him that you will have to walk around the wall once a day for six days but on the seventh day then you need to walk on it seven times and he even gave them the instructions that when you're walking on the first six days the people must not say a word but on the seventh day after the seventh walk that is when people must shout for joy he even he gave them a whole lot of instructions but i believe that these people had they decided that on the first day they are going to walk around seven times the world would not have fallen they had to follow what god had instructed them to do they could not just achieve that result just by walking it seven only uh, seven times in the first day they had to walk once every single day for six days meaning that in total they had circled the wall of jericho 13 times because it was the six days they walked around for the six days plus also they walked around seven times so god is also saying that it's going to be very very important for you to do these things because it will determine how you move in when you move in if you will ever succeed in life the first one is the frequency the frequency obeying god it's able to guide you on the frequency so these people had to be dedicating themselves once a day towards walking around the wall it's similar to if you are gymming wanting to ex uh, achieve certain results they tell you how you need to be doing it but they had to be doing it just once a day on the seventh day then they do it seven times it matters the frequency of how you do certain things it matters the frequency of how you do it when you want to be achieving certain results in your life how you are praying how you are praying number two is the consistency you could see here they had to be consistent for an entire week they had to be consistent so god is saying that some of you might say that lord we have prayed on monday i have prayed on tuesday i have prayed on wednesday yet i did not see the results but it's important to be consistent so here god was teaching them about the importance of consistency and i believe when they were marching around the walls at times they were feeling like they were mad why are they doing that they've been marching for six days now it's the seventh day now they've been marching 10 times around the wall but they still haven't seen any sign that this wall is about to collapse there's no sign that it's about to be collapsing but god is saying that yes it will collapse when the time come when the seventh time come that is when it collapses that is why you could also see with elijah when he was praying for the rain it's only after the seventh time that he saw a cloud as small as a human hand it only happened at the seventh time so there's so much power in that seventh time of the seventh day number three it is it matters the timing when do you do these things some of you you might find that you, you've done you are doing everything you are you are doing everything uh, at the right uh, frequency but when are you doing these things are you doing them immediately when god says do it are you waiting for the lord's instruction and doing it when god says you must do it or are you doing it when god you feel like doing it the timing matters which goes hand in hand with the frequency and the consistency number four it matters us what you say when you are marching here they were told not to speak some of you you find that when you are marching when you are fasting you are speaking too much you are saying a whole lot of things but god is saying that it's important in those first six days to be shush it's important to be shush until the testimony time you have to speak now when it's time for the results you now have to speak when it's time to be entering it's not every time that you have to be speaking 
Number five, what are you doing when you are marching? Here, they were instructed to select priests, seven priests who are going to be holding the horn or the trumpet, who are going to be playing the trumpet when they are, when they were walking. And then some of these priests would be in the front and some would be at the back of the ones who are holding the ark of the Lord. So you could see that there were specific instructions. So what are you doing when you are marching? What kind of music are you listening to when you are marching those things they really matter number six who is leading you when you are marching who is your leader it matters who is your leader here they had to be selecting the right priests to be playing the trumpet so it really does matter at this point when you are marching who is leading you make sure that it's the right kind of people who are leading you because you might miss out on your blessing when you are not led by the right person these people will be led by a joshua who had a direct relationship with god it matters who is leading you do they really hear from god or what it matters who is leading you and then number seven, what are you carrying when you are moving, when you are marching? It matters what you are carrying. These people, they had to be carrying the Ark of the Covenant or some translations, they call it the Holy Box. It matters what are you carrying? Do you have God with you when you are moving? Are you moving alone or you are moving with God? What are you moving with? Are you moving in faith? It matters what are you carrying during your move? And then number eight, what are you saying after your march? Because now on the seventh day, they were told that after you've marched seven, uh, seven times, this is when you have to be shouting. It matters what you say, what you declare after your march, what you declare after your fast. It really, really matters because after they shouted for joy, everything collapsed and now they were able to go in. And then number nine, it matters what do you do now when you see that the walls have fallen because God had given them the instructions that when the walls fall go in and take charge when the walls fall go in and destroy everything it's important that when the walls fall you do something you do something you find that other people now the walls have fallen. You can go in, but you are not fighting. You still have to fight. You still need to be fighting. It doesn't mean that when God has given you breakthrough, then the fights will take care of themselves. You still need to be fighting. You still need to be destroying. You still need to be canceling certain things, even though you can see that God has already given you the breakthrough in the mighty name of Jesus. So it matters what you do when you are marching. It really, really matters. I believe for them for the Israelites it felt like it's so humiliating to be walking around silent what is happening it felt so tiring to be doing that maybe they were even filled with doubt but they were like but because God says we must do it let's just do it we know that he's able to act we've heard stories about him performing so maybe let's just do it we've seen him performing miracles parting the Red Sea maybe let's just do it so God is also saying in your life just do it this is your season to overtake this is your season to get what is yours. This is your season to enter into the promised land in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.